Eli 5 How do we know one centimeter is one centimeter all around the world? How are we sure about it? Because it's defined on a standard and that's what a standard is. It's a definition for something that is agreed on by everyone to use. In this case a centimeter is based on the meter. One one hundredth. And a meter has been agreed on by the international scientific community to be exactly the distance. Light travels through a vacuum in 1299,792,458 th of a second. There used to be a certified standard physical object. S. That is exactly a certain measurement. And also weights. That all measures were based off of. Now it's all based on how far light travels in a certain amount of time because these things were subject to change over time and temperature. Fun fact. There really is no more physical representation of any of the base 7 SI units. All are now represented by fundamental constants. Even the kilogram, the very last holdout, is now figured by a Planck constant in math. The seven base units, which every other unit of measure is branched from, are second per meter per kilogram, ampere, kelvin per mole, candela, and hash x 200b. If you wanna never trust a measurement again, Take four kinds of tape measures and line them up to an inch next time you're in a department store. My question is how were musical notes defined and standardized many moons before we had electricity? And the ability to record them? To add to it, the standard goes pretty far. One cubic cm of water weighs one gram. 1,000 cubic cm of water weighs 1 kilo. 1 cubic meter of water weighs 1,000 kilos. Depending on environmental factors, the kilo is based on mass, not weight, and is defined using Planck's constant, which is a fundamental physical constant. Therefore, 1 centimeter can be calculated mathematically in a roundabout way using mass i got a stick with notches on it why would the stick lie to me there is literally an international bureau in france committed to the standardization of measurements in different fields they meet every four years https en.m.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash international underscore bureau underscore of underscore weights underscore and underscore measures. Reminds me of that Phoebe line from Friends, what if all the rulers are wrong? Tears of joy. There is a government agency that defines and has a physical sample of the standard or a piece that matches the physically described standard really well. The companies that make measuring equipment, or that make tooling for those companies to do manufacturing, have access to those pieces to check they're doing everything right. They might also have metrology equipment that is super precise and can retest the definition by themselves. The gram was originally defined as the mass of one cubic centimeter of water at its maximum density, at 4 degrees Celsius. Some might say the metric system is a conspiracy but in reality the units are arbitrary and keeping. A standard across all countries helps the spread of technology. There's a standard. The standard says that a meter is how far light in a vacuum can travel in 1299,792,458 of a second. Since light speed is constant, 
it means that a meter is a meter. A centimeter is also constant. As it is one one hundredth of a meter. There's also a standard for a second. HTTPS. En.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash second. Quite complicated. One centimeter is defined as one one hundredth of a meter. One meter is defined as the exact distance light travels in an unobstructed path in a vacuum in 1299,792,458 of a second a second is defined as the duration of 9,192,631,770 periods of the radiation corresponding to the transition between the Hyperfine levels of the unperturbed ground state of a cesium-133 atom and hash x200b. All of this is constant throughout the entire universe. So one centimeter is the same globally. For those mocking the question, until change there were many measurements previously based on physical items. Look up kilogram being based on Le Grand K. Always be curious. Because standards agencies keep track of it. How do we know they're doing their job? Because precision scientific instruments. Built to the same standards all over the world. All work correctly and produce equivalent results. The answer is standards and calibration. There are standards of what we decided things were. One centimeter, one pound, etc. Then we compare things to it and make them the same. Then we compare other things to those. And so on and so forth. It's a standard derived from physical constants. If you have the correct lab equipment, you can derive a centimeter anywhere you are at in the entire universe. A meter is calculated as a tiny fraction of the distance light travels during one second in space. Making it a universal. A centimeter is always one one hundredth of a meter. Frankly I'm not sure why it would be different in any other country. I absolutely know there is no standard by the fact that I can buy two pair of trousers of the same waist size and length from the same manufacturer at the same time. And they will fit differently. Short answer. We aren't. And never really have been. The history of the meter is a long and storied collection of minor revisions. But the degrees of difference are very very slight so the practical implication is that it's all fine. Check the Wikipedia page for some of the history https en.m.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash meter what we currently consider a meter is basically final underscore final underscore meter underscore v3 len but so long as we're all using the same version at the moment it should all be fine i don't understand this question you can compare measuring tape in one country to measuring tape in another and the length of one centimeter will be the same this is really easy to verify Another Redditor assuming that scientists all over the world have not thought of something that he thought of in the shower this morning. Everybody is talking about the definitions, but I'm pretty sure more practically various. Government agencies have actual physical pieces that are made super precise that manufacturers and scientists and engineers are allowed to borrow at the agency's location to make calibrations no am i out of line here the keepers of the metric system guard over the master ruler in its secret vault buried deep underground 
Anyone wanting to make a ruler or measuring tape must venture to this sacred location and have their measurements compared to that of the master ruler. Only after the keepers have decided that they are equal may you call what you have a centimeter. This question has been answered but even if we take into account gravitational waves the difference would be negligible beyond calculability and observability. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe for more content.